Yo, what's going on, boys? Today I'm on my mini account. I'll be playing the global tournament. I'll try to get to 20 wins. I'm um, 15 and 0 currently. Um, the matchups honestly have not been that bad. Um, they're pretty decent for the most part. So yeah, just gonna hop right in. See you when I find a game. All right, I got a game facing 11. By the way, thank you so much for the recent support. You guys are insane. I love every single one of you. I'm almost at 40k. It's actually so unreal. Anyways, um, plays a giant skelly in the back. Uh, looking like an off meta deck. Giant Skelly is not really that popular, so I'm gonna assume it's an off meta deck. And he's gonna knight over here to protect my one archer. Let's see if he wants to support it. Okay, plays a musketeer, so I'm gonna fireball and also gonna log to finish it off. Um, let's see what he does here. By the way, I kind of have to be quiet today because I'm recording really late. Um, usually I'd record at like 8 p.m. and then just save the video for um my upload schedule, but like my usual upload time is what I meant to say, but um. Today I just randomly woke up at 1am so I'm just recording right now. Anyways, um, let's see what he does here. He kind of got a little bit of damage because I was not back to log. Um, and the spare gops kind of did a lot of damage. Um, honestly I thought I was going to take way more but I only took like a few spare gops hit. Okay, he has a lot of ground tanks so this is actually going to be hard to get a lock. Might have to like fireball cycle. Not really sure but um, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna archers in the middle because he played a giant skelly. And that was a really good musketeer. He predicted my archers. Um, and he was gonna ice bird over here. Also gonna skelly, so that should finish it off with the help of the towers. Um, okay, he zapped me, so I have to play a knight over here. Also distracting that one musketeer on the right side. Um, my tower did finish it off. He's probably gonna like spare gobs in the middle to kill that knight. I don't want to go for like a prediction log. I'm not that crazy. Just joking. If it didn't work, that would have been like a waste. But, I don't know, if I played it, I probably would have forced something out. Doesn't matter, though. What's done is done. Anyways, um, he's back to Ram Rider, so he might like Ram Rider. Um, he also ha has yet to show, like, two more cards, so I don't really know what he has yet. But I am gonna Axe on the left here. Um, he's back to Giant Skelly. Okay, so I have to get to a Knight here for the Giant Skelly. Um, he's probably gonna Musket here. I'll Fireball it quickly if he does, but yeah, I'm gonna Archers over here. What? Alright, he has a Mega Knight. Um, I knew it was an off-meta deck, but I didn't know he was going full, like, mid-ladder with it. And he was gonna Axe on the right side. I did outcycle um, both of his tanks. Oh, wait, he has a Valk. Um, okay, he didn't play a Valk, so I might get a Log here. I'm gonna Log. Um, really good Spare Gobs. Kinda dodged my Log with that. Um, that Musketeer did some work on Max Bell. The Ram Rider also helped out killing the Skelly, so the Muskie locked on Max Bell really fast. Um, but yeah, this one's gonna be tough, like I said. Also has a Mega Knight. Oh my god, he has a mini pack. Okay, those are the um, last two cards I was talking about. Uh, not really sure how to win this. The Expo might have been a bit bad. Um, I actually have to Fireball the mini pack and the Ram Rider. Okay, the Log messed up my timing on that Fireball. So it's going to connect, but um, on the bright side, I got a Lock on the left and he's not back to Zap. So uh, yeah, I'm going to get a lot of damage. I think I get more damage. Yeah, I definitely get more damage compared to him, but he also got a lot of damage. So I have to kind of like watch out. I'm taking way too much damage than I should be. Okay, plays a mini pack. I'm gonna scale these over here. He's back to zap, so he's definitely gonna zap. Nice, okay, so it's gonna come to my knight. Um, he's back to ram rider, so he might ram rider to pressure me. Okay, gonna play a Tesla in the middle. Um, that's just like, what, two fireballs and one log, so I'm gonna throw a fireball log. Um, Ice Spirit should jump on the spare gobs. Okay, one spare gob hit. Kind of a bad placement on my Ice Spirit, but it doesn't matter. I'm back to a fireball, so I'm just gonna throw it, and that should be 16 and 0. Pretty easy win, even though he had a lot of um, ground tanks and like a bunch of unpredictable cards. But yeah, see you when I find a game. Okay, I got a game. Facing Yoya from AK Syndicate. Um, this guy might be playing Lava. I know that clan is known for playing Lava because Carl the Legend um, is in that clan. So yeah, gonna arches in the back to cycle and plays a gang. So most likely gonna be like some sort of bait deck. Um, by the way, classic log baits back again in this meta. Not really sure how, but. Yeah, guards are kind of dying again. Anyways, gonna Axe on the left here and not the right side. Um, because there's one minion on the left. Okay, he also played a Barbarrel, so I'm glad I played it on the left. But yeah, looking like Lava at this point. Because he played a Balloon as well and he played minions and Barbarrel. Kind of a weird variant because you don't um, usually see Barbarrel in Lava, but this guy's running it. Anyways, I'd love to Knight in front of that, but I just don't know what he has yet, so I'm not gonna do it. I might just end up feeding him like a really good, I don't know, like a Squirmy or something. But I have to Knight to Pressure on the left here. Because um, I was not back to Expo. He's probably going to Gang in the middle. Yeah, he does go for a Gang in the middle to kill it. Doesn't matter. Then I'm going to Tesla on defense here. Um, Let's see. 
Definitely gonna blue in behind this. He's not back though. He's one card off. Let's see. He plays minions. Okay, he's back to balloon, so I have to kind of watch out. I'm gonna hold on to my archers. Um, if he plays um balloon, I have to play it on the balloon, so I'm just gonna hold on to my archers. You know, it's gonna ice bird over here to um finish off the lava pops. Okay, I'm in a really good spot. For some reason, he didn't pressure there, so I think I'm up elixir as well. Okay, never mind. Um, looks like he was up elixir because he pressured, or he randomly just played that at eight elixir. No, no, no. Okay, he had enough for a fireball right away, so I assume he played it on ten. But yeah, right now he has no elixir, and um, his cycle is also kind of messed up. He's not gonna be able to defend Max, but I don't think, unless he lets it lock on and then plays a gang. Um, I don't see another way of him defending Max, but. Yeah, my expo locks on. Um, probably gonna lob in the back, to be honest. Let's see. Okay, yeah, plays a lava in the back. He's probably trying to, like, tower trade me, but I'll try my best to not let that happen. Archer's in the back. I'm also gonna Tessa in a second here. Um, I'm gonna play it really high so that if the balloon comes to my Tessa, it's actually gonna go to my expo and not my tower, because I have expo alive over there. Not gonna stay alive for too long, though. Yeah, that was kind of a fail, because I didn't um, see the HP on the expo. I might take a lot of damage here. This looks kind of scary, but... Okay, plays a fireball on the archers. So I have to knight over here for that barbarrel. Did end up locking on my tower. It's kind of fast now because of that buff, but... It doesn't matter. I took, like, what, 1k damage from that? Not even 1k, like 800, but yeah. I can just keep defending for 20 seconds. This is going to be a basic lava balloon push because he didn't start it in the back. Um, if you put a lava in the back and, like, start a big push, it's actually going to be really hard to defend, but... Uh, yeah, this one's not really that hard. And he's going to fireball the minions. I'm also going to get back to second set of archers. Um, just to be safe. Like, I know I won the game, but I don't want to, like, choke to a random balloon hit. So, that should be, what, 17 and 0. Um, see you when I find a game. Oh, my God. I hate masteries so much. Just let me queue. Okay, there we go. What? Okay. Um, found a game facing Walt Fried N. Okay, kind of a weird name. I don't know how to say that, but I'm gonna start off with a nice spirit on the right side. I'm um, also gonna archers in the back. Plays a queen. Okay, so I'm gonna skellies over here to force out the ability and then I'll knight. I could also go for like a fireball, but I just don't want to play my spell yet because I don't know what he's playing. I was kind of a random queen at the bridge, but yeah, let's see. Play skellies. Okay. Um, still not sure what he's playing. Definitely some sort of cycle deck, though. Okay, looks like Hog EQ. Um, this matchup's actually one of the worst matchups in the game, because they also run Giant Skelly now for Ice Golem. They don't run, like, Knight or Valk or Ice Golem. They just run Giant Skelly, so it's one of the worst matchups in the game. He's gonna Ice Spirit on the right side. Um, okay, that was a terrible timing on my Ice Spirit. But yeah, I wanted to Expo first, so I'd get back to it faster. Um, if he manages to kill this Expo, that is. Because um his cycle should be kind of messed up right now. He's not back to Earthquake. Okay, he's back to Earthquake with that cannon. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. He kind of got away with a really awkward hand, so I might not be able to win this. But the thing is, he's four cards off Earthquake, and I'm like one card off Expo, so I could try to get some damage here, but he's just one card off Giant Skelly, though. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Like, he has a lot of responses for my Expo. That's also going to jump, because I don't want to log it, so kind of unfortunate, but... I'll go on the left here. Um, let's see. Okay, never mind. He was actually back to Giant Skelly, not one card off. For some reason, I thought he was one card off, but he was actually back. That sucks. He's probably going to hog. Wait, he played a queen. That was kind of a bad queen. Um, also, activates abilities, so I'm going to get a lock here. That's the lock I'm looking for. Uh, yeah, I definitely got more damage than him. Leaves it at 2027. Not bad. And he was going to log over here to finish off that queen because he was almost back to a second ability. I don't want him to, like, play the ability with 1 HP and then lose my whole tower. That'd be kind of painful. But yeah, I'm gonna Tesla high for that hog over here. Okay, that was a really good cannon on my Tesla. He probably figured I'd Tesla high since he has an earthquake. And he played it the first time, so. I'm gonna Skelly's over here. He tried to predict my axe, but with that giant Skelly. Not a bad play at all, but I'm gonna log over here. Um, can't Tesla over here. So I'm gonna Tesla on the right side, because he's gonna go hog here and then, like, predict the Tesla on the normal spot so instead if i go on the right like yeah that's what i was trying to explain but it was kind of hard for me to explain like i just didn't know how to explain that but yeah he just kind of pre-placed the earthquake on the normal spot but since i played it on the right side he like completely missed that it's really clutch when you're facing hoggy q and you need like a last second lock 
you can just do that and then like axe ball opposite and like predict the log in the middle or something to hit the skellies or like a fire spirit or to be honest just like predict the fireball on the cannon um but yeah anyways gonna knight in the middle because he might queen to kill metasla okay really good earthquake because i can't punish that there's a whole giant skelly bomb on max bow spot and there's also a cannon killing metasla okay um i'm gonna have to take like what two hog hits i think or maybe just one Okay, I take one hog hit. I didn't want to play Tesla on that because he kind of like overcommitted already. Um, if I played a Tesla, it would have been like even elixir. Like it, it wouldn't even count as overcommit on his part. So I just had to eat that one hog hit. Uh, that was definitely a terrible play. So I'm going to fireball over here to finish off that hog. He should not have enough for cannon. Um, he does have it now though. Okay, um, plays earthquake. Not a bad play. Once again, I'm up damage. Every time he gets damage, I get like twice the damage he gets. It's kind of like I'm eating some damage, but I'm getting like way more. I don't want to um, archers because he might go for like a giant skelly. Okay, I should have archers. But I'm actually going to fireball even though Max was almost dead. I care about that like tiny lock, um, if that makes sense. Anyway, he's going to um, test over here. This time he actually waited on his earthquake. This guy's kind of smart. He was going to skellies over here. Should not get a second hit. Okay, I got a second hit. That sucks. Um, this spot is very chokeable, so I need to watch out. Tesla over here. Um fireball i should be just one fireball log off yeah 207 is fireball damage so that should definitely be two under 207 he was gonna toss over here just to play it safe kind of catch like the last second hog and that's game nice okay that was a really good game um it was kind of hard though because he has a really good matchup there but yeah that puts me at what 18 and 0 yeah 18 and 0 just gonna hop right in see you oh my god of course all right i got a game oh i know this guy from top ladder he plays that Pigs Cannon Earthquake deck, just a popular Pigs deck with like Queen and a bunch of stuff. Okay, never mind, he's playing Ghost, so it looks like he's not one tricking. Ghost could be Pekka, could also be like Mega Knight Lightning. Um, yeah, because I went to my tower. It's okay, I don't mind taking a hit. Um, but yeah, the placement on my Archers definitely could have been better though. And he was gonna test on the middle to kind of buckle up for defense. Okay, plays a Ram, so most definitely Pekka. It's a really good matchup, it's like an 80-20 for me. As long as I play good defense, I should be able to win this pretty easily. Um, yeah, the Barb's buff is actually kind of noticeable because that should only have gotten one hit on Matessa, but it actually got two. Doesn't matter though. I don't need Matessa back right away because he's not back to Ram Rider, so I can take my time getting back to it. Plays a um, Bandit. He's also not back to Marcher, so I, I feel safe playing my Knight low. Um, if he was back to Marcher, I probably would have played a super high. What? He played a pack at the bridge. So he's definitely going to pay for that. Pekka in single is never a good play. Um, I might take some damage here, but trust me, he's absolutely going to pay for that. Um, okay, the ghost actually did not finish off my archers, so I'm actually not going to take any damage. I'm going to go in on the right side in a second here, because I definitely outcycled his Pekka. Um, I'm going to go in right when I have enough for like a knight, so that even if he goes for like an Ewa's um, bandit push, I can defend it. Definitely back to bandit. Okay, um, plays a bandit. Managed to catch it with the eye spirit. I have to kind of scale on the left here to not take any damage from the barbs. He kind of has an awkward cycle. He has like an Ewa's and a ghost and like two spells. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to archers. That's a guaranteed lock. He's probably going to fireball. Okay, plays a ghost. Not bad. He's probably going to zap right after. But yeah, I got a decent amount of damage. Um, that's the lock I was looking for. Like he played a peck on the left. I instantly knew I was going to get a lock. Um, and that also got no damage. Kind of got lucky on defense, or maybe I just played good defense, but yeah, I just knew he was not going to win this. And he was going to test on the middle um, to kind of just buckle up for defense. He's back to ram now, so okay, plays a ram in the back. I'm probably going to peck in front of that because that's what they always do in double, but let's see. Um, he's probably going to zap my skelly, so I'm going to knight over here for that bandit. Don't want to um, let the bandit accidentally dash onto my Tesla and then the ram go to my tower. Not really sure if that made sense, but it's happened a lot. Okay, really bad fireball. He does not have enough for a P.E.K.K.A. Um, so yeah, I'm going to Archers over here to DPS down that ram. I'm also going to Skelly's over here. I'm going to Knight over here. Played it in the middle just so he could uh, like play the bandit all the way on the right side to defend like my one Archer. Um, I went for a prediction fireball, but I missed. Probably shouldn't have gone for it, but it's okay. I won the game anyways. Skelly's over here. Kind of pointless, but it doesn't matter. That's like, what, two fireballs? Um, yeah, it looks like he gave up. He said good game, so I'm just going to Archers at the bridge and then um, Fireball to finish off the game. That was kind of an easy game, I'm not going to lie. Okay, um, that puts me at what, 19-0 I think? Or is it 18-0? I can't remember. Let me check. Um, 
Great, I'm back to home screen. Nice, I'm back to grand challenge now. And I can't click off because of masteries. I hate it so much. Okay, 19 and 0, not bad. Play one more to get to 20 and 0. Um, hopefully I win this. Facing Wanpo. Kind of a weird name. That's a funny name. <laughs> Wanpo. Anyways, gonna Ice Spirit on the right side to cycle. Also gonna Archers in the back. Plays a Ghost. Okay, um, could be Pekka again. I'm actually gonna be really happy if it's Pekka again. It's a, such a good, like, such a good matchup. Can't talk anymore. What the hell? Um, but yeah, gonna Axe on the right side. It looks like Pekka played a Marcher. Okay, what? Giant Skelly? Oh, it's Drill. Um, Drill, uh, Cannon Cart, and a bunch of stuff like Golden Knight. Um... So not really that good of a matchup. He has so many ground tanks. On top of that, he has a Golden Knight. Um, if you play Axe you probably know. Anything with a Golden Knight is kind of like undefeatable. It's like unwinnable for Axe anyways. But I'll try my best. Um, I might be biased, but Golden Knight is really broken. I say this like every video. Um, bear with me. But yeah, I hate that card. Um, if I was in the balance team, I'd definitely like nerf like the dashing potential. Like, you know how it's so unpredictable? Like... One second it's at the bridge, and then the next second it just goes to your tower and like keeps going. Um, not really sure if I explained that well, but I hate the dashing mechanic. Anyway, it's gonna skeletons over here. I'm also gonna fireball that marcher. Don't want to let that marcher get too much value on me. Anyway, it's gonna ice bird high to distract that ghost, so my Tesla gets one hit. Okay, never mind. It just kind of died before getting a hit. I thought I was gonna get a hit, but it's okay. The archer finished it off, but I had to log on def defense though. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, it goes for a drill. So I'm going to play a knight on the Ewis, and I'm also going to archers on defense. I might take some damage because I kind of played the archers late, but it doesn't matter. I can afford the one goblin stab. For now, at least. Watch me lose by like 50 HP. I'm actually going to laugh. Okay, plays a ghost. Um, Should die to my archers. Okay, never mind. He played a bar barrel, so I have to log over here to finish off that ghost. Okay, I actually didn't die. Lives with one HP left. I'm not going to play a knight on it because I need it for the giant skelly and the golden knight. So I'm going to Axe Ball on the left because he played a Golden Knight in the back. Um, hmm, do I even defend this Axe Bow? Okay, I'm definitely not defending the Axe Bow. I was kind of split between, like, if he plays something else on the Axe Bow, I'm not going to defend it. But if not, I'll just play a Knight for that Giant Skelly to kind of defend it. But yeah, he played a Marcher, so... I was like, yeah, just kill my Axe Bow. You can have it. Anyway, he's going to Axe Bow over here. I think I outcycled um, most of his stuff. Not back to Giant Skelly yet. He's back now, though. Okay, wait, he played it late. Um, I think he's gonna E with anytime soon, so I'm gonna Archers over here. Wow, perfect timing on that. I'm um, also gonna have to watch out on defense for that Ghost. Okay, no damage taken, and I got a lot of damage. Um, kinda missed the Fireball on that Giant Skelly, though, so I have to kinda Tesla over here. If I didn't miss that Fireball, I probably could've gotten away with, like, an Ice Spirit on it, like, in the middle to kite it, but I don't know. Anyway, it's gonna Archers over here. Really nice Tornado that got him, like, what, three Goblin hits? The thing is, um, even though I got so much damage, this game's not over. He can come back with like one good push with like one NATO and like a Golden Knight ability paired up. It's actually so like scary. Such an undefendable push. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try to pull it opposite lane. Okay, that didn't work. For some reason, that played out different in my head. Like, I thought the Skellies was actually gonna push like the giant Skelly on the opposite lane. Or kind of like pull it on the opposite lane, but it didn't work. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna Skellies over here. He might like activate ability. I'm gonna log over here. Okay, he never activated ability. If he did, he would have gotten so much damage. But yeah, he just didn't think of activating it, I guess. Or he didn't have Elixir to activate it because he was like spamming like crazy. But yeah, now um, look at how he's slowly getting damage, and I'm like just getting like logs and like high spirits on his tower, and it's definitely not good. But yeah, I'm gonna Axe over here. Um, okay, I got some more high spirit chip. I'm also gonna Archers to pull that giant skelly out to let my Axe Boat connect. Okay. Um, if I didn't mess up those skellies, right, I definitely would have gotten a lock, but that's kind of on me. Like, if I choke this, it's definitely my fault. Like, it's not even the deck, it's just me at this point. But yeah, I'm gonna knight over here. Oh my god, so many goblins on my tower. He's gonna march your side. I need a Tesla over here. Okay, I'm kind of lucky that locked on the archers, because I played that, like, one second late. Um, if I didn't play that Tesla over there, that would have locked on my knight later on, and then, like, gotten a lot of damage. Or if that just, like... Locked on my knight to begin with. I would have taken so much damage, but kind of lucky. He was going to spread over here. I'm also going to knight really high so the dash does not hit my archers. Nice. I'm not sure how that works. Like, sometimes it literally chains through my archers to my tower, but sometimes it just, like, stops there. Anyways, that should be, like, what, one fireball log, so I just need to get back to a log. He's back to a nato, so I need to watch out. Yikes. Um, 
Wait, 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 wait. If he activates and then uses the ability. Okay. Oh, I thought that was going to dash onto my tower. I was so scared there at the end, but um, good win versus a really bad matchup. That puts me at 20 and 0. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the ASMR. Um, beat a lot of bad matchups. So don't forget to like and sub. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll try to stream the GT on my main account tomorrow if I get it to work, but can't promise anything. Anyways, um, love you guys. Peace.